The magic school bus fixes a bone. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzo's class. Sometimes we go on trips in the magic school bus. Our room would look spooky. But today we are having a Halloween party. We'll have a good time. Our lessons will be spooky too. Time to learn about bones, asked Miss Frizzo. What about your our room, Tim asked. We want it to be scary, dear aunt. Don't you think skeletons are scary, asked the Frizz. Miss Frizzo points to our skeleton. We can learn a lot from Mr. Bones, she says. The Frizz is serious about science. No bones about it. Carlos pins a spider to the wall. He rushes to his seat. Uh-oh, Carlos does not watch where he is going. Poor Mr. Bones. Crash! Oops! Yikes! Mr. Bones gets up all by himself. He is amazing. Class, Mr. Bones is very special. Thank you, Miss Frizzo. Our class skeleton can talk. Are you okay, Mr. Bones? Miss Frizzo asks. Carlos look wor looks worried. I think I broke my humorous. He thinks it's humorous? A broken bone isn't funny. This is the humorous. Say humorous. We have to help him, Carlos declares. To the bus class, calls the first. You rest here, Mr. Bones. We'll be right back. You can't, we can't leave him. We'll see him soon again. Yeah, I feel like it in my bones. We climb on the bus. It starts to shrink. We get smaller and smaller. We whiz back into the classroom. Here we go again, another class trip. I already tripped once today. We fly towards Mr. Bones. Then we fly into Mr. Bones. A lot happens in your bones, says the Frizz. Our bones are alive, class. Are Mr. Bones' bones alive? Our bus is magic and our skeleton is too. We are small so we can walk inside the bone. Our bones are strong, says the Frizz says, but they are also light. The outside of the bone is very hard. The inside is spongy. It's soft to walk on. We reach the break in the bone. Things are really busy here. There is a lot of blood. The bone is working hard to fix itself. Now we'll see what happens to a broken bone. I bet it takes a long time to heal. I call that a bad break. We watch the bone at work. Blood carries special supplies to the break. It cleans up the mess. New bones start growing. It's, but broken bones can hurt a lot. But Mr. Bones is magic. He doesn't feel the pain. Mr. Bones needs a cast, Keisha says. Dear reads from her book. A cast is like a hard bandage, she says. A cast will hold the bone in place, then it can go back into one piece. Back on the bus, the first cars. We have a lot to do. The bus whip zips out of Mr. Bones. It zooms around his broken arm. It wraps a cast around the bone. Our work is done. Mr. Bones is magic. 
so he needs a magic cast. It's a perfect job for the magic school bus. Now the bus is back in the parking lot. We go back to our classroom. We hang up more spooky stuff. We're back to our normal size. Mr. Bones' arm will be back to the normal soon, too. I sure hope so. Carlos wheels Mr. Bones back to his spot. He's glad the skeleton is getting better. We all get to write on his cast. How do you make a skeleton laugh? I don't know. How? Tickle his funny bone. Carlos cracks me up. Our classroom looks great. We are ready for our party now. Our teacher is Miss Frizzle, so we are have to be ready for anything. Where will we go next? It could be anywhere. Now that's scary. The end.